Uh, Don't actually, you throw an assault rifle at me. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm going to turn on comments real quick so I can actually see what people potentially send in. Uh... The doggo being the doggo. Actually, if I turn off the comments, will I see the full screen? Okay, yeah, uh, that's better, because I had comments on the last day and they were kind of flooding the screen. Alrighty. Um, I'm just going to send the link out. I do love, though, the mercenaries mode is so, like, um, it's not, like, as in the actual mechanics of the game, in terms of, like, you know, the shooting and everything else, it's very, it's it's indicative of how it feels, but then when you actually play the actual story or anything else, you're like, this is not... Mm. Okay, yeah, we're live. Whoop, whoop. We'll do it live. We'll do it. We'll fuck it. We'll do it live. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, that's just that's just like I know it's not really a meme. Oh but no, that's it's, just it's a, a great. It's a meme. It's it it's the, it's a meme of life. <laughs> it's it's a meme of like how most people feel day to day in their ordinary job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, for anyone who's here for when the VOD goes up, welcome to Staffcast Streams. We're bored shitless, as you can hear. Um, mm -hmm. Happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Happy Star Wars Day. Um, so, for Star Wars Day, in light of that, we were originally just going to stream some Resident Evil, which we will be doing later, which Jake is currently playing, so he can dust off the cobwebs from having not played it for a while, so you can occasionally hear him fucking the controller at the wall every so often. Eat um, lead, firebomb, Sam zombie! <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, um, Oh, you fat bastard! <laughs> you still talk about the game? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I will be playing Fallen Order um, while Jake is playing some, some Resident Evil. I'll be joining him in a while. Uh, we got a new update for Fallen Order uh, where I will be testing out some of the new mechanics. Uh, I can show off my, my lightsaber. That came out wrong. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna. I'm That's just gonna you get thrown off Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, lucky for uh, well, lucky, uh, it's, I'm, I'm also. Uh, I mean, here we're not on Twitch. We could. I mean, we're not. We're not monetized. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> yeah. How about we just speak our minds and then we'll get thrown off YouTube? <laughs> yeah. How, how about I just like put on a green screen? Yeah. No, my it has, that has to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Hey, my dude, you know the way you, like, you said an opinion that, like, wasn't in any way controversial, but, like, is just something you expect in your opinions? Like, yeah, 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 okay, take that bullshit out of here, please. Hmm. Uh, just a word to the wise for anyone watching. I cannot see the live feed comments because the last time it really screwed me over because my monitor is quite small. It's my bedroom one. Um, and when I stream in general, it has to make the aspect ratio a lot smaller in order to fit the comments in. Um, so, I mean, e even now, I'm kind of just like sat close enough to the TV that I can kind of see comfortably so I don't completely suck. I mean, I'll still suck, but I just won't suck completely. Um, sure. I'll, I'm probably going to, like, if there's any comments or anything, I'll probably shout them out to you because I'll have this, I'll have the stream run on my phone. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Uh, actually, yeah, I was I was actually about to ask if you if if it was no trouble if you're not like up to your eyes in zombos, uh, read a few out here and there. Um, yeah, uh, you, 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 you can be the to... you could be the moderator. F filter it for racist shit. Well, to be fair, it's like, is this racist? Yes. Are you gonna do something about it? Maybe. Why? I want to see what the punchline is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here, if it's that loud from work, just ban him. Alrighty, start new journey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what's good? I'm, 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 I'm going to do this on story mode just for the sake of, like, I've, I've done it on Jedi Knight. I've served my time. Um, 
I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna treat myself to story mode and do it on the easiest difficulty just so I can chill and kill. And next story mode plus, I'm just gonna go boss the wall on Grand Jedi Master or Jedi Grand Master yeah, yeah. rather. So yeah, story mode. I want, I want to check one thing real quick. I want to see how much of a difference there is between. Oh, To me, literally to say that sentence only came in now. <laughs> ah, it's YouTube. <laughs> no, no, just more so. It's like, like good thing that I didn't go. Oh, I'll jump off, or like you know, I'll, I'll like you know, blah 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 blah. It's a good thing that I just said. Oh, no, no, it's grand. Like I'll keep through my phone with the sound off because otherwise I'd be like, oh dear God. <laughs> yeah, that'd really throw you off. Yeah, and also like. It's like at the minute, it's like we have you have one viewer, and it's like yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh god. Uh, I mean, it uploads as a video later, anyways. Because I was actually streaming this a couple of days ago uh, with Cami. Um, or rather, she was she was just in the comments. She's probably in the comments now because she knows we're streaming. Mm. And uh, so yeah, we were kind of. I was kind of just streaming it there on a brand new story, but I'm kind of like, oh wait, no, there's new content. Fuck that, I'm starting again. <laughs> Um, oh, so yeah, I, yeah. I deleted the video that uploaded then. Not only that, but like I was like extremely low energy. So I was kind of like, yeah, there's no point keeping this. I sound so bored when really I'm just wrecked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so like, I'll that's keep, completely I'll, normal. Yeah, like, I'll keep the VOD for this up. And maybe we can make like a little series out of it. And I'll keep the Resident Evil one up as well, because that's just straight shenanigans. Yeah, exactly. It's just going to be us talking about like... Look at this new motherfucker and all this sort of shit. Just almost like memeing away. <laughs> mm. Listen, I, don't wanna upset your rhythm. I let my current Leon Kennedy hair like fucking fuel my Resident Evil rage. It's it's hilarious though actually when we go to characters like the characters that we either play the most or we would like or like because it's the thing of like for me for stupid reasons at first but then just for reasons in general it would be Jake for me. Hmm. Because it's like. Of the first time playing a Resident Evil game past, like, the original one. Yeah. I, it's the first time I finished a campaign with a character, playing as a character, and then on top of that, it was, like, it was my first time doing one with someone else. So I was like, I really like this character now, because I had fun with them. And it's a thing of now I look more like Jake than I did when I played it. Oh, yeah. Cause, oh, yeah. For those of you who do not know, Jake is a bald boy now. He has shaved the head. Yes, if you know, if you get this joke, you know, owe me either very well or you know football. Oh. I now look fully like Martin's girl. Sorry, sorry to cut you off, Jake. There's new costumes. There's new costumes, oh, there actually... Jake. Yes, I can be an Inquisitor. This is fucking awesome. Oh my awesome. god! I was about to say, if you couldn't do like, like, um, I would love for there to be like a Sith robe kind of thing. Um, actually, yeah, because like the, the only other outfits are like ponchos, so I can't exactly get a Sith poncho because a poncho is probably the least fucking Sith thing ever. Because here, even <laughs> look at me, my arms are covered. I'm so I mean, nefarious. <laughs> I mean, even even like here, Darth Maul's poncho at least hit the floor. It was a robe, so like the yeah, one that he wears robe, a tattoo was... on. Tattooing was a robe. Yeah. It has a hood on it. Uh, okay, let's see new ponchos. Uh, okay, to be yeah, fair, it's like, I understand here. why they do ponchos because, like, you know, you know, context the story and the and the the actual society that is in the Star Wars universe and everything. But it's just like, goddamn people, it's a game. Just be a little, let yourselves have a little bit of fun. <laughs> mm. Actually, you know what? I'm 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 stripping off the poncho. I'm I'm gonna use the the costume that's loosely based off of Luke from Empire. Screw it. Uh, or at least that's what I thought from the color scheme. Um, okay, so if you're not looking at the stream right this minute, think of basically like Luke from Empire, but he's wearing like a flak jacket. Oh, nice. No, yeah, no, Cal, Cal is a stylish motherfucker. Like, I can't wait to cosplay him, frankly. It's a thing of, it's the young fellow that played Jerome in... In Gotham, yeah. Gotham is the actor who does the voice, uh, or does the mocap and the voice, isn't it? Yeah, they, they made his appearance look like him as well. They, like, he's even, you know, he's he's got the ginger hair. Oh, I'm so happy that Inquisitor one later on, because I was reading there that they put in a red lightsaber, and now I know why. And, uh, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. You can bet your ass that I'm going to be using the red for at least a little while. I'm going to try out my Cyan saber, because I just love that saber, then I'm going to mess around with some of the skins. Oh, uh, yeah, of because, course, 
Again, like I said on the last stream, anyone who knows me at all, if there's any customized option at all, I will spend hours in it. Like, playing any RPG, I will, like, spend most of my time in the character creator. Like, Fallout 4 had to tell me to stop making characters. Sure, speaking of Fallout 4, like, you literally made me for, like, like, it's a thing of where um, I had played it once, and I think I played it as, like... You made Stephen Amell. I, I made Stephen Amell, yeah, I made Stephen Amell Arrow and just said, like, fuck it, he's gonna be... Steve, he's gonna be, if, like, it's a thing of he learned more... If he gained some of the personality traits of him as Arrow and was himself, because he's just a very... Seems like a very cool human. Yeah, he's and, a nice guy. Yeah, and then I kind of just went, like, oh, I'll try and make... Like, I was stuck, but, like, because I was like, oh, he is, he does look like, uh, he, do, he looks like, like, Stephen Amell, so I was like, oh, well, I will start off going, like, I'll kind of, I'll make the, make the, the mother, the husband, or the wife, look somewhat like, um, Black Mary. Yeah, I can't remember her name, but everyone says Mika looks kind of like her. Oh, fucking... Who plays her in Arrow. Ah, uh, I was literally, I literally liked one of her Instagram posts yesterday. Of she course is. you did. <laughs> yeah, of course. She is a beautiful woman. Yeah, she is a very, like, not even in a, like, a fucking, like, oh, wait, just purely going off of just, like, no, she's a gorgeous looking woman. Like, no, she, she's, a, she's a lovely individual. She's, like, and it, you know. She's I, like it's a thing of you were about to talk about something else entirely there about her, and then went, eh, I don't want people to hate. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like no, in, in general, she is she she she's a lovely individual. She seems like a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, you just didn't like the version of Canary they did, which to be fair, I wasn't crazy yeah. either. Yeah, you I know, was, like, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. The, the idea of Dinah as a character was not interesting until Earth Two Dinah. Yeah, fair. Like it's a thing of I liked. I liked it in certain aspects. It's like, oh, that sounds like the kind of stance she would have if it was like, you know, you're reading Rebirth or you're reading like, or you're watching the old Justice League cartoons or, yeah. you know, anything like that. You'd go, all right, fair. That sounds like, that That seems pretty close. And then there was just times where like, you know, after a whole arc of being like, oh, I'm weak. I can't do this. I can't do that. Once Katie started, Cassidy. Had, yeah, once Katie Cassidy. That's who it is. Like, once it got past that point, and it was supposed to be a thing of, like, she was her own hero in her own right, I was like, okay, cool. Like, she can still obviously have moments of, like, lacks of faith because, or, like, you know, a lack of self-confidence, because, like, Ollie has one, like, every other episode. Um, yeah. Which is completely, for the character, sounds pretty right. Um, but it was a thing of, once it became a thing of, it was happening, like, more than, like, a couple of times, uh, like, three episodes or a couple of times, like, a multiple, a multiple few times a season, I was kind of like, She's like she's supposed to be like the bedrock of the two of them. Yeah, but also it's a thing of in in every other version they're like together and they're constantly working together. Whereas like you know in this it's like, like you there's a girl cool Icky, you can't be superhero. <laughs> That's basically or like, you. you know <laughs> yeah or, or like he's gonna he's pulling that fucking Batman thing and like I think I can't remember if it's the animated series or if it was like just because you know the way they they sort of like skewed thing for. Batman Beyond, or an obscure thing, but they showed, like, they showed, like, the perspective of them after the animated series, and you're sort of, like, like, how he deals with, like, Bruce deals with Barbara, Barbara at points during that, you're kind of like, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. It's, it kind of had that feel at certain points, I was like, I can, it's rational for normal people, but none of you are normal people. <laughs> exactly. Um, actually, but, um, one, one yeah. episode of that, that I, see, here's the thing, I think it was the detriment of season 3 that kind of stinted her growth as a character. Mm. Uh, although, one episode that I loved, I think it was in season 3, correct me if I'm wrong, because you might know better than I, uh, mm. when she's actually training with Wildcat. I think that was season 3, yeah. Like, yeah. That, that's a great one, because not only are you going, we need to, like... Like, instead of going, like, I don't know, like, just having it where it's just, oh, Ollie just does it, because it's like, well, then it takes, like, because he doesn't want to do it, then it would take about, like, ten episodes for her to get trained at all, you know? Yeah. Um, And then, 
instead of being like, oh, we're gonna make this, like, I'm not, here, this is the thing, like, I'm not, it's not a thing of if something's new, I'm gonna hate it, it's just, like, there's certain things that I'm, like, they're core to what a character does, like, you know, and, like, if they had it where it was, like, I don't know, if they just had it where it's, like, her dad, I'd be like, alright, that kind of makes sense, because he's a copper, and copper is, like, normally, like, they can do, like, boxing, or they can do this, or they can do that, but the fact that they went, no, 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 we're gonna do Wildcat, because that's what, that's who taught the character, so we're gonna have it. That, that's exactly. who taught the character. Yeah, like it's even like, even Rebirth right. acknowledged that it was a very important part of her character. Well, sure, even the New which, 52 I, on its own referenced it. You know. Yeah, exactly. And like, like it's a thing of, and I know, I know people who like, who wouldn't be into DC, or like, or like not really people who aren't in DC, but people who don't really know anything outside of like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Or even there's the CW shows like Flash and stuff. Yeah, like if they wouldn't, if they didn't know anything bar even the CW show, they would be missing out on so much of the actual character. Because if you really look at it, um, you could probably, it's not one to one obviously, but you could do a fair enough comparison of Batman to the CW show and go, you can see where they were planning to have certain characters as like. You know, Stand a ins. Batman character. Yeah. So, like, um, you can tell that, um, like, as much as I love Felicity, like, she's a brilliant, she's a brilliant character and she fits the show great. Um, she she was definitely supposed to be like the they in the early stages when they were writing all this. That was supposed to be Oracle, like it was supposed yeah. to be Barbara. And then for Diggle, I would say maybe. I don't think it would be a Bat family member. Uh, I feel like he's like, but, like Alfred. beefy Alfred. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's like an, an ex mil like ex mil modern military Alfred instead of like Here, you know actually, I fought in. Have, have World you ever War seen II. Have you ever seen that show Beware the Batman? The animated the, show. The one that had the really like it had a very bizarre art style, but it was a very cool art style. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of like their answer to the Clone Wars animation. Yeah, exactly. That that's where like the only thing I could think of comparing it to was the Clown Wars. Yeah, yeah. Like the, only, uh, the, uh, the Alfred from that. Was... The, the Alfred from that, I'd say, because even even in the original uh, poster art, but basically there was actually a whole thing with that show that they had to censor guns after the unfortunate incident of what happened during the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they had to say that oh, they're stun guns, they're laser guns. Uh, so, but the, in the in the original poster art. Alfred was essentially supposed to look like a gangster with like a bowler cap and a shotgun. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool, but I understand why they did it. It's not, or at least it's not as bad as like, do you remember when four kids used to do the anime, the anime, the like censor, the Yu Gi Oh anime? Yeah, they, well, they still censored. <laughs> no, no, but as in like when it was like, like, you know, they didn't learn that, you know, you could add things to a, to a censor. Instead yeah. of just taking things away, like yeah, yeah. I remember in that there's a bit where Kaiba's just... there and he's typing away on a computer, and two tugs come in to try and take care of him. And in the original version, they both have pistols in their hand and they're pointing the pistols at him, going, "You're coming with us," kind of thing. I did but the then... censored version; they're just pointing at him. <laughs> yeah, like they just have it where they literally just removed the gun, painted the area that had the gun in it as a, their skin tone. And then had it where they were pointing their fingers, and I love it because even as a kid I went, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> that makes no sense. But then I oh, sort of went like, oh, maybe I'm missing something from the plot, or maybe you know, like especially when you're that young, you try and rationalize things because when they don't make sense. Yeah. Whereas, I call like, it my childhood. you know, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but like then when you get older, you start to realize, oh, people make mistakes and things can just be wrong without an actual proper reason. Yeah. It was only it was a thing of I had put it out my mind so, for so long that I was like, oh, it was just no big deal. <laughs> the fact that when I watched Yu Gi Oh Bridge, they made such a big deal out of it. That's when I went, oh, that's what it is. Because I, I actually it wasn't until I watched that I I learned how much control that four kids actually had in that shit. Yeah, actually, it's funny you should mention a bridge, because I was literally just going to say that, uh... Um, it's like, yeah, you're going to censor guns, but then you're not going to censor a guy, like, about to kill himself over a card game. And I remember that line from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge series, Oh my god, are you seriously going to let the vibrations throw you off the edge and kill yourself over a card game? Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, like that's like to be fair, like as much as it's a it's a parody, like how they get coy is literally so perfect, it's not even funny. Oh, so but, my like, fa- my favorite line from that whole thing, and you, here you're probably sick of me referencing it just because I say it so much, is just Grandpa on the ground. Man, that Kaiba kid really needs to get laid. Yeah, <laughs> like to be fair, there's so many things from that that I really love because like, like some of them are just like you know it's just you know it's a joke to be said. And then others, it's like they make they make a joke, but you you end up going, wait a minute, wait what? That makes a lot of sense. Wait, why didn't I notice this? <laughs> Look, like, um, like what? Like some of the, like there's some stuff like I lo- like I love. I never realized how annoying Mokubo was until I watched the anime, the Abridged series, and then watched the same bits Big he was talking about where he said he was annoying. <laughs> yeah, and then you watch it back and you watch it as an adult, and you're like, holy shit. He a bitch. Oh, they, <laughs> like, they, they supposed they, to be like ten, but they made him a total gangster in the new movie. Yeah, but like, it's I think it's a thing of they literally did that because the amount of people who were complaining, like, why is he such a bitch? But and, like, like, the thing is, I they basically they, they turned him into bitchy Tim Drake because he's partially running Kaiba Corp. Oh Jesus! Yeah, no, it's it is hilarious. Like the kid just like hops out of like fucking helicopters and everything and starts inspecting archaeological digs. Is what I can remember so far. Uh, it was, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, just because, like, uh, I, I say new movie, it's just kind of, it was new to me. I went to see it for Rory's birthday that time, and uh, oh, yeah, yeah. it was great crack, though. It was, such, it was such a fun film. Like, it was called Dark Side of Dimensions, and speaking of Dark Side oh, of I Dimensions, yeah, 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 like, it, it, it actually had a fair number of Star Wars references throughout the past, like, couple of years of Yu-Gi-Oh! shows, because, like, even in, uh, what was it? Uh, it wasn't 5D, uh, fucking... The one where they're Some... on like the, the one where they're on like surfboards and shit, uh, or not surfboards. Oh, that yeah. was that. That's rains. The one with the motorcycles. Uh, that, I think that is five D. Yeah, and literally it... the only reason why I know it is because of the amount of times that Yu Gi Oh bridged and like other things I've seen about it. Take like the piss being like one of them was like um, one of them was um, I think it was like everything wrong with the Yu Gi Oh anime. Oh like, no, it was they... it was it was Arc V. Arc V, that's what it was. But he, he literally one of the one of the videos I think was like everything wrong with the YouTube uh, the, the, the anime the anime was they went I think it was like there was some bit where they were on a car or a train or Zeppelin or something like that. And he was like, Oh, playing doing duels on modes of transportation, how stupid. Like you'd never see a, a duel being done on a motorcycle. Cool. And then they show, they put in pictures of like Arc Five, and it's like, oh dear God. <laughs> Here, I don't care who you are. Arc Five is apparently meant to be really fun, and Rory was sending See, me this... clips and showing me bits of it. And you know what? I don't hate it. Frankly, See, I actually thing... think it's quite fun. This is the thing. I have no opinion on it. I genuinely have no opinion on it. It's just when someone said to me, I think it was at a con, someone said to me, it's like, oh, like. I saw, like, you know, you were looking at Yu-Gi-Oh! things earlier, and I was like, yeah, I, I used to love it as a kid. Like, it was actually when I was looking at the Millennium Puzzle necklaces they had, mm. which I was like, if it wasn't for the fact they had the Arrow one, and I was like, I'm only buying, like, one of certain things. Because you can't wear, like, six necklaces. And I already have not three I wear in rotation. I'm not two chains. I'm not, like, I'm not, like, gonna be, like, a Gucci main rapper, like, so, like, Jake fuck that shit. <laughs> Jake <Empire>. Tap. <laughs> but, um... Yes. <laughs> what was it? Uh, someone said, like, oh, like... No! It probably wasn't you, it was probably Mika or someone. It Actually, was it probably, probably was Mika. Because she went to bar Actually, no. puzzle. <laughs> yeah, it probably was growing actually, because, um... I found the Actually, no, sorry, was, she, like... she, I think she ordered that Millennium Puzzle online. Sorry, anyway, continue. I'm not sure, anyway, who, whoever it was sort of went, like, oh, like, you're, you're into Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was like, oh, yeah, I used to play a shitload when I was a kid, like, I used to really enjoy the game, and uh, it's like, I was like, oh, it's probably why I'm so into magic now, is like, it's just, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, but, like, not for kid, like, are not designed to be played, like, it's like, and, like, I, I know people who, like, play Yu-Gi-Oh, and they're like, it's not a kid's game, and it's not this, and it's not that, and I'm like, I'm not saying it's bad or anything of the sort, because, like, I played it myself, I can say it's bad if I played it myself, but it's like... It's like the difference between playing the Lego Batman games and playing Arkham. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. I mean, it's, sure, it's like the, uh, what you call it, um, it's like the age guideline for Lego in general. It's like from 7 to 100 plus. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, it's so not, it's, it's like, never one. 
Like there, there, Sorry, there, there, there's the in, there's the target audience, and then there's the people who just like it, you know. And it's definitely yeah, one of those exactly. cases with Yu-Gi-Oh, because like, especially with the new with the new show, they actually deal with a lot of mature te themes. Like I've been watching Vrains with like, like I mean, as in like rather than the anime, because the anime it's like it's it's a totally different sauce. Um, the actual yeah, but, card game. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, no, I totally get what you mean in that regard as well. Um, uh, it's, so it's, like, I was like, yeah. it's. I was like, that's probably why I'm so into magic now, because it reminds me of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid, and and as well, I just yeah, like the mechanics and how it works. Say, like, that was my gateway into magic as well. Yeah, exactly, which I think is... Probably, I'd say, there's more people who... There's probably more people who played Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid and then got into magic at some point than there are people who played Yu-Gi-Oh! and then went into nothing card-related. Yeah. Because even, like, I know there's people who went straight from Yu-Gi-Oh! to the Pokemon King, which is apparently very good as well. It's just, I can only get into so many card games at once before I bankrupt myself with all the other things I do as well. Yeah, I get that. Because, like, the thing is, I really, really want to get into Star Wars Legion, and there's, like, extended card packs and everything for for that. So I'm kind of yeah. like, okay, I can't and for me, And, like, for me, it's the exact same thing, where it's, like, Magic release a, 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 a new set every couple of months and it's like you know if you see something and you're like holy shit like that really suits what i like to do or that's my kind of vibe or style or what i want to make a deck out of you're like oh well shit i need to buy like i either need to buy individual cards that could be a shitload of money or chance it by spending the same amount of money but get that and a bunch of other cards possibly um like, they literally, during all this, they released um, a new set, which is Beasts of Korra, or Behemoths of Korra. Something like that. It's, it, has, it's, it has a high emphasis on big-ass creatures. Like, literally, one of them is Godzilla. Oh, wow, okay. Like, it's like, it's not branded like, oh, you know, this, it's like, TM Godzilla or anything like that. Yeah, but it's basically Godzilla. It's a kaiju it's of just... some description. Yeah, exactly. And, like, it's like they're trading, like, I know on Arena, there's, like, a thing of, there's an event on that I was going to do, and then I sort of, like, went, eh, eh, I, I'm not really that arse, and it's a hard, it's a, it's a card that I probably wouldn't use because of the colours it's in and everything else. Yeah. But, um... So what you're uh, saying is I'm going to be bankrupt because Kaiju are my jam. Yeah, exactly. Like, it, the whole thing, it has a real emphasis. Like, there's literally a card that I think you would love the art for alone, is actually Dot sent it to me because she just pissed herself off and, th and thought it was a joke originally and then we realized it was a real card it was like it was called like Gigantus or something like that and it gave a creature plus 10 plus 10 and the, the, the picture of it was literally a house cat that was like 50 stories oh nice like you you can <laughs> see like fully grown ancient pine trees getting crushed under and coming over the trees and it's just this yellow and white house cat just being like yeah bitch so it's basically I am if, the sphinx, if the sphinx was docile if the sphinx was docile and another like 40 feet tall fuck's sake I it's hilarious it. It, it's amazing like it's one of those things she sent it to me and I sort of laughed and she was like if this isn't a joke I don't know what the fuck's going on I was like if this is a joke I am very upset and she's like why I was like I need to be able to stomp someone with Raffle Kitty, like with the joke, <laughs> like with with Katrin, you know. Uh, so here's the thing, Jake. You do realize, full disclosure, if I find out that you have that card, I'm gonna find a way to steal it, right? Yeah, I know. You're got a hundred percent because, like, it's a thing of I haven't bought any packs or anything because, like, um, you know, like out of the amount of money, like out of things that I want to and have to get. If I can't get them off of a just a retailer, I get them off of whoever I can. So, like. Uh, like, if it's a thing of, like, comics, like, the only places that are really left are, like, that actually have, like, a full spread of shit, mm. are, like, places in the States that have refused to stay closed, but they have a, ma like, they have to charge a massive amount of, uh, shipping. Yeah, because they have or, to. It's, a, like, yeah. what, what, what's the custom charge? Yeah, exactly. Or it's Amazon, and it's, you know, like, no one really likes giving a shitload of money to them. Well, no. I mean, I don't like giving them any money. It's the reason I'm not yeah. actually streaming on Twitch. Um, but yeah, exactly. Um, uh, not to, not to shit talk Twitch, but I'm sorry. Like slavery, slavery. Yeah. Like the the thing is for me, it's like um, like when it comes to Twitch, anyway. I'm like, uh, I don't have any affiliation. Like, it's a thing of it's well, it's not a, it's not about affiliations or anything like that. It's purely like it's like. Um, 
it's like saying you know one like and like I know it's not the exact same, but the way I'm trying to put it is is um say DC are found out to be scalping artists. Yeah, you know it's like uh, it's hardly fair to turn around then and blame who are you? No time. the artist, the artist who who drew it, or like the artist who you know say whatever way like they claimed it was theirs and it wasn't. Or no, yeah. that's 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 just being a dickhead. But as in, like, you can't really blame the artist who, you know, or you know, you can't blame the person who was just given the art and wasn't told what was going on. Yeah, it's like uh, not to get political or whatever. It's just because I know it's just on the forefront of my mind in the, in that like comparison. Remember, like the Save the Eighth uh, photograph poster of like the couple with a child, and like they didn't know it was actually for and anti-repeal campaign and yeah. uh, when they actually found out what it was for they were disgusted and actually made like a repeal version of the actual photo which they were well mm. within their rights to do because of infringement rights uh, yeah, exactly. it's basically like that because like they didn't actually inform the couple that that's what, what it was using for. for yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, like that's like and, uh, that's that, how I kind of... that, 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 that's as political as we're, as we're going to get here. So, like, yeah. if you came here for um, that, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, so, like, like that's when it... Like, it's one of those things of, like, I know it's a thing of their owned by a fucking bunch of fuck nuts. But bar, like, stupid yeah. things that go on with them. Like, and to be fair, 99% of the bad things you hear about that's Twitch are because idiots who are on it. Yeah, it's like, the thing is, I mean, here, like, I'm not gonna shade anyone for using Twitch, I'm just mm. not going to. It's not no, a no, thing of, like, it's not like a thing of fuck Twitch or fuck Twitchers, it's a thing of fuck Amazon, so I just don't. No, 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 that's, no, that's what I get, like, that, yeah, that's what I mean is, like, and I do get that. Mm. Like, I think it's, it's one, one of those things of... It's one of those things where the, the longer you're on the site, or the longer you're using the service, fuck, sorry, I nearly fell. Uh, the longer you're using the site and the longer you're using the service, the uh, more money Amazon will basically get for yeah, the domain exactly. space. And that's kind of, I wouldn't even necessarily say, actually, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm boycotting it, but like, I'm not being like, oh, well, if you're using Twitch, you're an asshole. Yeah, because like, at the end of the day, it's like, here, I just use it because it's all I can use, or it's like, I started using it before it was owned by these people, so like, mm. you know, it's just where I am, and it's where I'm comfortable or whatever. Yeah, you see, but also at the I, same I, time, Amazon dicks. Um, yeah, because like the thing is, I think the thing that I actually even kind of prefer about streaming on YouTube in general is I can set up private streams without having to pay jack shit or without people having to pay jack shit. Um, yeah, you can just fire away like. Yeah, so let's say Shareplay was being it was acting maggot on PlayStation and like you wanted to watch me play something while Hayden wanted to watch me play something and like a couple of other friends of ours wanted to play something. And I kind of wanted to simulate just playing something on the couch with people. You know, the closest thing I can get is like I can set up a YouTube stream, but then like set an invite thing for it. Yeah. Which in in itself is quite handy. Oh yeah, no, it's dead handy. The only thing that really annoys me is that there's a d massive delay. Oh yeah, but like, you know, for for what it's doing, it could be worse. Oh yeah, for Weird. sure. Uh, I just have to jump off for a bit, just to, you know, to grab noms and whatever, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, sure. real quick. I, like, I'm literally, I'm not gonna turn it off or anything, I'm just gonna have it on me, you. But I'll be yeah, back yeah. up in a bit. Grant, sure, I'll see you in a bit. Start you a bit. Okay. I can't wait to, like, jump right back into the custom options to, um... Oh, shit. Uh, to fix my my uh, saber up all over again. I can still feel how rusty I am at this though. Parry, Cal. Parry. There we go. Oh, I just realized I have to go through that fucking map tutorial again later. <laughs> no. Get on board! 
Ooh, the textures have not loaded on your face, madam. Ah, there they are. Thanks for the help. But who are you people? My name is Seer Junda, and this is my captain, Rhys Dritus. How you doing? Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We tracked Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Brock. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? And what's the bounty on Jedi these days anyway? That's gratitude for you. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. You too. Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? Set a course for Bagano. Aye, aye. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now. Move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Calico! You were talking in your sleep. I still love the aesthetics of the ship. I think the Mantis very quickly became one of my favorite ships in Star Wars. I mean, look, look at this, look at this couch. Look at the crisp Corinthian leather. Look at, look at this. Okay, it looks like I actually have to annoy Grease real quick to trigger that. Fine, I'll play the game like it's intended to Not be. Not now, I got work to do. Okay, now I can trigger it.
song. I wrote it. Years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo and the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi. But not anymore. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but... my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. Jedi I knew discovered it before the purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists. No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. Since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But, until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. May the Force be with you. It's such an aesthetically pleasing game. The lighting in this is just amazing. Okay, uh, I see a couple new people have joined. Uh, who they are, I have no idea, but if uh, you were watching the last day uh, and wondering why I basically restarted today uh, was the day they dropped new content, such as Story Mode Plus, and uh, that means I get to keep all the stuff from my last save, so I was like, ah, screw it, I want to keep my cosmetics. Um, so I changed to a uh, sort of Empire Strikes Back looking outfit for Cal, and uh, let's see what I can do for the Mantis, see if I kept the same stuff. Let's see here. This is what I, I think it was these two is what I predominantly used through my last campaign, but I think I'm going to go for the Boba Fett skin, because Mandalorians, am I right? There we go. That's nice. Alrighty, time to get rid of this crappy hilt. Okay, I mean, it's not the worst saber hilt, but doing? still. Why are you creeping around my ship? Hang on. Alrighty. Prepare for me to sink absolute hours on this alone. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, they have the red saber now. But I'm going to go for ye old tr trustworthy. This is kind of what I play most of the game with. I'll test out red later on. Now, uh, I used this the last time. What I kind of like to do with these is try and make uh, the saber look as close to Anakin's as possible. Uh, the last time I did this, it was kind of a mixture between uh, a Luke saber and an Anakin saber. Um, but yeah, uh, you can kind of make things as close to Anakin's classic graphlex as you can, which is pretty neat. And using the cyan crystal kind of makes it look a lot like it did in, in A New Hope.
That's the one. Or was it? Hang on. That was it. Um, in case you're wondering, yeah, the bottom bit does stay busted for quite a while. Um, but that's just because you get to upgrade it even further later on. Now, where's the chromium? Where the chromium at? Dura steel actually looks pretty nice with this. But shiny. There we go. Shiny. Ah, uh, much better. Like if I were to have a saber in real life, that's, that's exactly the way I'd want it. Um, also, with this new update comes, um, yes, save point, uh, like a challenge mode as well. Uh, so yeah, pressing triangle will actually take you to meditation training, uh, which I might do a couple of videos on or streams on. Lord knows I have the time for it. Ah, uh, yes, the big boy strike. Alrighty, I am satisfied with that. And that didn't take me nearly as long as I thought it would. Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. Uh, I'm not that kind there, of guy, Grease. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of umbar and glass, that's perfection. All right, let's see Bad if touch. I can find any. Bad touch. This looks like a safe okay. place to meditate. From one meditation point to another, I guess. Should have just kind of gone to this one, but the uh, saber one was near. And leave. No. Oh. Hey, Still cute. Every time. One. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. Searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on! Did you just slice that? Thanks. <laughs> He's so adorable. Oh, Whoever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Okay, yeah. Can't skip this. Mm hmm. Okay, that's not going to get annoying. I sense something over here. Alrighty. That's a really big bug. Somehow. 
How'd you know that would work? Wait, you didn't? Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let me? I want a droid. Well, your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Okay, try that. The vault. Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. That's just a saber desk. Alrighty. Uh, BD, that's a little small for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Tight fit, but this should work. Those vines look like they lead somewhere. Hope they're sturdy. And I made the same mistake as last time. <laughs> Zap. Droid. Can't argue with that. Oh, cool. So searched boxes stay open from the last time. The Jedi would mind if we grab supplies. Cool. That saves me a lot of backtracking. Uh, so I guess I'm heading this way then. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. Actually, now that BD1 is on board, I can customize him too. Right after this somewhat annoying game. tutorial. Yes, blocked. can't make it over there. We gotta find another way. Okay, so I'm back down this way. I remember that much from the last day. I think. Probably. Yeah, I'm directionally kind of screwed. 
So there will be a lot of backtracking. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, so it's not letting me customize BD just yet. Okay, yeah, wishful thinking, I guess. Alrighty, and we're back here. Oh yeah, it was this way. Save so I don't forget, because my dumb ass will. Yeah, not in the mood for that. Still way too rusty. Nah, that's just something I can force push later on when he relearns it. Oh shit. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna activate this, uh, oh yeah, crap, I need the wall run thing. Never mind. Thought I'd make things easier for myself later. Uh, again, compulsive saber. Sorry not. Okay. Ah, damn it. Grease might like these. Yes, Cal, give Grease your seed. something in there try again it's difficult master yes the path is difficult may seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, do what you must to reach me. Faster, more intense. 
か Dude, I don't trust myself with a pack of crisps. What do you think I'm gonna do with, like, you know, fucking Jedi powers? Ah, too soon. I'm sure I can try and use this as a shortcut. Okay, I'm gonna try this like two more times and then I'll take the long way if I can. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I need a double jump. Yeah, no, forgot about that. Yeah, forget it. Never mind. I made a stupid. Show me that shortcut again. This area was used for meditation by someone familiar with the Jedi Order. That's where I came from. Never mind. Yeah. Um, this time I'm not just compulsive saving, I am getting a skill. Okay, see, blocking is super important, and I always forget to do it. So I might go down this path first. Um, yeah. Because, like, you can kind of blag your way through a fight health wise and, you know, strike wise. But if I can get the next point up to blocking, then I'll be kind of ahead of myself. Because uh, the last time I went straight into different strikes and stuff like that, and I was looking for, you know, different, uh, I ended up, like, regretting not doing the block thing, so I want to see if I was right to do it my way or wrong from the last time. That's one thing I will just that I will give this game is that the uh, replay value is decent in that there's different ways to go about your um, level up tree. Like obviously by the end of the game, uh, if you grind enough, you will pretty much have the exact same like skills. Um, like you, you essentially just kind of have everything eventually by the end of the game, but it's kind of like, there's different ways to get there. Yeah, worth a try.
Is he there? Oh, it's on. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, he probably would have won. Probably. I know for a fact that there's no enemies in here, so there's no point in saving right now, but Lord knows I will on the way out. to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Or a droid. Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey, you want to meet some uh, friends of mine? Okay, so generally speaking, you're supposed to go to Zepho straight away. Um, but there is a very cool power-up that you can get on you a different see. planet first. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. Um, so I might as well show you how to... Oh, fuck off. I might as well show you how to get to it. Um, get to the power-up pretty much straight away because it's really handy to start off with. Um... It's one of those kind of high-risk, high-reward mechanics that this game has. And this will be the planet. My friend. It appears the Zepho had some interest in death up here. It's strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so 
So for anyone who is a fan of uh, the Clone Wars, for instance, you'd know um, Dathomir itself is actually where Darth Maul is from, um, and home of the Night Sisters, who are basically Force-sensitive witches. Um, they are very cool. And um, speaking of, I watched the Clone Wars. Um, Should be a lot quicker than the way in finale earlier today with my friend Rory from Everything Geek Podcast uh, and uh, like it was so emotional because like what is this place? I like we went to see the Clone Wars movie together as kids or like early teens at the latest and uh, it was just uh, it was kind of so nice to kind of see the show come to an end with the person that I essentially started the show with you know um, but yeah, no, it was really nice. The ending broke me. I mean, it's one of those things where you know Did it's coming, and it still hurts. I can still feel the excitement. But, uh, anyway, yeah, we're, um, going to be going to Dathomir first instead of Zepho. Um, because there's a very, very cool power-up that you can get, and, uh... Considering I have mentioned Darth Maul, you probably have figured out that it is a double blade, or the second blade for your lightsaber, so you can fix the busted end. Uh, like I said, high risk, high reward, uh, but they kind of make it in such a way that you can't wholeheartedly rely on the, um, yeah buddy, come. Uh, you can't wholeheartedly ride, uh, rely on the um, double blade, you've actually got to kind of use it for different situations, like a single blade would work better for um, one v one sort of dueling where uh, I think they I think the devs were saying the second blade is for like crowd control attacks. I'm pretty sure that's what the skill tree says later on too. Yep, that wasn't supposed to happen. You uh, there we go. Parkour. All right. There is a boss that I can go to here, but honestly, it's pretty time-consuming. It's a pretty hard boss, even for early on. I mean, I did it the last time, but like I know firsthand that uh, I'm just really not in the mood for that shit right now. Uh, so I'll probably do a lot of that off-camera, do some grinding, and uh, get back to, you know, leveling up and shit so I can get some more cool stuff to show off to you guys. Hey there, little guy. <laughs> And uh, I'm just going to unlock this from the map real quick. And oh yeah, I can't um, see that little boggling that jumps in there that you, you can kind of see in there. Actually, hang on. I'll stick on camera mode. There we go. This little this little guy here. Uh, he, that is a boggling. You can keep him as a pet, but not until you learned uh, force, um, I think it's pull, to remove all that business. Um, but yeah, I, actually, I think it's force push, or push and pull, because you need it for this puzzle. But yeah, you, there's a lot of force powers you don't really get, even, even till like close to the end of the game, because um, I, it's the game is described as a Metroidvania, which essentially means that you start with fuck all and you build up to being pretty OP. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what that's that puzzle's for. You can unlock a stim pack, I believe. The test. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. You couldn't have just told me about the oh, adorable little droid straight. that was waiting hey, for me. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Go! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum meat fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. 
A long time ago. Yeah, I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Surprise. Use the force. This is cool. Wait and see. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. What? Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. So like I said before, we will be going to Dathomir. Um, there are some unique conversations that you can have with some of these people, but I'm going to limit that as much as I can because I kind of, if anyone wants to end up playing this by the time I'm done with it, it might as well be a somewhat fresh experience and it kind of just saves time. Where to, kid? Alright, so when you see this little icon here, like the Jedi Order icon, that means that's where your next objective is. So I'm going to do the exact opposite of that. Uh -huh. I'm surprised Cordova went there. I must have had the reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of Force wielders known as the Night Sisters. They use the Force? What, like Jedi? No. These bitches serve only themselves. Their power is focused on deception, illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. Now, I want to show you something really cool. Made a deal with a Sith when they Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. Don't have to tell me twice. Okay, now that they're done talking, I want to show you something cool. Ah. The photo mode on this game is amazing. You can take the camera virtually anywhere, you know, within reason. Um. So yeah, if you want to get like really cool shots of the Mantis in hyperspace, you can. Um, if you want to get some like exterior shots looking in at the uh, inside of the Mantis, you can. Look, there's everybody, the whole gang, for now. Uh, Jesus Christ, Cal looks demonic. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to like show off your sleek paint job on the Mantis, you totally can. Coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid. Cal, be careful here. This is a deadly, dangerous place. Maybe we should leave. That's your call, Cal. I'm sure it'll make Grease happy. I bet he's still hiding on the ship. If Cordova did come here, that I'm sure of. Alrighty. Uh, well, if we're going to be hanging out on Dathomir, we might as well fit in. Okay. You're with 
Jedi. It's safe. I'm safe. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, BD, time for an edgy makeover. That's the one. Actually, do I have full health? I guess I'm about to find out. You know, when I get my ass kicking. Looks lonely in there. Better find more seeds. Alrighty. Well, good thing we weren't standing there. What is that thing? Couldn't count on them being friendly. I'll try my head to beat the crap out of him. Screw it. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys have like a dying attack, so if you're on pixel health and you just kill it, you might want to dodge right away. Take these on my bottle. Hello, Jake. Hello. H how are your How are your zesty doms? Uh, technically not even over yet, but because apparently I went down for appetizers. <laughs> well, alrighty. Yeah, it's a curry, so I probably won't be having much. Ah, uh, fair enough. Oh, is it, your, is, is it your dad's curry? Yeah, and it's, it's not bad at all, it's just I've had it so many times in my life, my brain just sort of looks at it and goes, nope. <laughs> like, it is very, very good. Yeah, no, I'm it's sure. Just, it's like... It's like, you know when you're a kid and you used to eat a shitload of a certain thing, now you can't eat it anymore? Yes, yeah, you know, I do have a food like that. Like, for me, it's bananas. From when I was actually a kid. Shit, actually, same. <laughs> that, that's mine, too. Uh, I only kind of eat them out of necessity when the old potassium gets low. Uh, I just don't, like, in general, eat them anymore just because I'm like, no. Like, I, it just doesn't sit with me at all. Yeah. Actually, um, one thing that I find quite nice, this might change your mind a little only because it worked for me. Mm. Uh, if you have it sort of as a dessert sort of thing in a sandwich with peanut butter. Nah, that just sounds to me like a waste of peanut butter when I could just have a peanut butter sandwich. That is also entirely fair. <laughs> sure, like, actually, what was it? I had something today. Shah made something for us for breakfast today, and I was sitting there, and I was like, in general, I think people love this, but I think you would like it. It was like, um... So it was a uh, like it was something Shah does. I think they do it in society where Shah works, worked or whatever the fuck. But a uh, slice of bread, like as in like a a proper loaf of bread, like one yeah. of the ones you get in the middle. One of them, and then like this tomatoey kind of puree kind of thing with chickpea, with like full chickpeas in it. Ooh, spinach, and then um, oh, what's the name? Not um. Halloumi cheese. 
Ooh. And the mushroom. You, you, you already caught, oh, mushroom as well, like you have me at spinach. Yeah, so like it was all layered on top of it and then like we were, I was working away through it and I was sitting there going, oh my god, it's so good. And it's one of the very few times where when it comes to anything my dad has ever done in terms of food, I have just instantly just gone the opposite direction. Like not as in he's done anything bad, but me and my went, what was better, the sausage and pudding or this the Shaz after making them without any hesitation I went this this Shaz. this always this yeah. and it's not because Shaz made it if it was the other way around and it was the exact same I'd be like oh what me dad made because like the thing she made was just gorgeous yeah it was really lovely and um, I love things like that when you try something new especially in a situation like this where it's like you're sitting and you're probably eating the same like six things well like not in my house anyway yeah because my parents are my parents like what was it they did duck Ooh. with duck pancakes and like this like cinnamony kind of sauce and it was fucking gorgeous and I'm just like oh, I want to eat Daffy Duck <laughs> <laughs> oh no like uh, have you ever tried duck spring rolls mmm mm. like that the that one of now four times of the one of four times now I've eaten duck was one was one of them was duck spring rolls and I was like oh my dear god oh yeah I like guess probably the thing of I can't, I can't eat duck a lot just because it's like it's it's so fattening and everything or it's so much fat and everything to it. Mm. But it's one of those things of every time I think about it, I'm just like oh, it's like beforehand and even more so now. I'm like, oh god damn it. Okay, so that's where I need to get to sorry, thinking of that. Uh, no no you're all good. Uh, yeah, this way. Oh no, I can <laughs> I can make my shortcut now. Sick. Who who did I see in the comments earlier? Uh, I don't know, see I I don't have comments turned on. Ah, uh, fair. No, it's just because I saw someone say, here uh, here comes the viewership. Probably Mika. Well, it's, it was a thing of, it was like Valentina or oh, something. Oh, that, that's Cammy. Something. Ah, that sounds about right. I kind of guessed it was Cammy, but then went, I don't want to just assume, because like, you know, mm. you'd, you'd feel bad, like, well, not feel bad, but you'd kind of feel like a dickhead if you're like, oh, hey, this person, and then whoever it is is like, oh, I'm actually someone completely different, you're a dick. I was like, oh, oh, okay. Uh, so the thing is, uh, I think with reference to the name, as far as I can remember, I think that's uh, an OC she made for like a sort of werewolf story she pitched to me. is really, really good. Oh, that's cool. That's very fucking cool. Uh, no, I think you'd like it. Uh, there's like a whole kind of um, vampire element to it that I won't go into because, you know, A, spoilers, B, it's not my story to tell. But uh, hit her yeah, up about exactly. it sometime. It's, it's, like, honestly, it's a blast even just to listen to her riff about it. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. I'm the well for that. I don't know if she's still in the comments, but, you know, probably doing a lip blush, but, uh... Yeah, she's probably sitting there going, <laughs> rah, 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 Let me tell you about everything! Which I'm like, yes, go ahead. Yes, yeah. <laughs> please, please do. Um, sure, like, it makes yeah, me think it, of... It, it, that it, you it, said it, Vampire Alma. It yeah. makes me think of the fact that, uh... Um, I... Uh, may have turned around the other day and was like, Yeah, I'm actually gonna... Like, she's been planning on doing a... Or she offhandedly mentioned doing a Vampire the Masquerade game. Ooh! And, I mean, that's a fun video game as is. Oh yeah, like so she was like she was talking about doing a RPG, like the RPG, um, the tabletop one. Yeah. And she offhandedly mentioned it, and me and Chris just went for it. We were like, yes, 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 yes. We'd love to do this. I've wanted to play like forever and everything else. And then what was it? We got so excited to the fact that like, like we offhandedly mentioned it to her at a different game. We'd already made PCs. Yeah. And we were just like, we want to do this so bad. I was like, I love how I offhandedly say I would like to, and you just go like, oh, yes, yeah, she is doing it. She has no choice anymore. And I was like, well, like, I thought maybe just a bit of enthusiasm would help. And she was like, oh, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying how quickly you took a small thing I said. I was like, that's the only way how I know to do things is quickly and vigorously. Yeah, get it. She was like, Okay, fair. So, um, the other day she had to turn around and goes, uh, uh, as soon as the quarantine's over, I'm buying the whole set of books because you can't really buy, like, you know, like, you can buy the player's handbook for D&D &D, or you can buy the Dungeon Master's handbook. Yeah. And you don't need to get, like, it's handy if you get them, but you don't need to get them all at once. Yeah. yeah. Most of the things from Vampire and Masquerade, you have to buy everything together. Oh, that's a bit shit. It's a bit shit, but it also comes in a big box with a, with a, uh, a DM screen designed for the game 
Oh, so like, it, comes, it's it already fun. comes with everything. Like you don't need to buy the expansions. Everything just comes in a big pack. Yeah, exactly. So it's ah, a thing of off... like the, yeah, Star Wars Legion is mostly the same bar. They actually do have expansions. Yeah. So, and it wasn't a thing of she was like when we were talking about it, it wasn't like she was like it sucks because I want to buy it piece by piece. She's like, oh no, it's nothing like that. It's purely just because I want to buy it. It's just a cost of it and money. Um, to do it because like you know. Like, Fair Fox, them, they worked on a whole game system and they put it into books, and it's a thing of, you know, if they think, if it's a thing of they put so much effort in to develop a system and they're going to sell it this much together, cool, it's just I need the money at the right time to do it. And I was like, yeah, that's fair. That's completely fucking fair. Um, like, sure, that'd be the same for me with buying any, like, D&D books. Like, I only, like, it's a thing of I bought two books that I was looking to get because they were cheap on, like, certain websites. Like, <laughs> Sorry, I just came across a funny glitch. No, no, for... Oh god, it's nightmare fuel. Oh god. Uh, basically, they sp like to uh, Darth Maul, like Zabrak uh, mm. people, just spawned with their they were they spawned T posing with their uh, weapons just hanging in front of them, just chilling, and uh, their running mechanic just decided to break, so they were just sort of like power sliding. <laughs> you cowards will never stop me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, essentially whenever someone describes something as T posing, that's just the phrase that comes into my head. Um, okay, I'm about to die, just so I'm gonna run back and use that skill point real quick. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, at some point I'm gonna do a Vampire the Masquerade game, which should be a shitload of fun. Nice, because I have a I have a character concept. I don't know if I'll go with that character concept because it's a thing of like there's not levels in it. There's like generations. Yeah. So it's like if you're like a like say if we say Gen One, you're essentially Dracula in terms of power. But then if you're the most recent batch, then you're not. You're, you're you know you're, it's you're a different more like thing. you're more like Darren Shan essentially. Yeah, and it's a thing of it can affect what what time period you could even be from. Okay. So like, say if it's like four generations ago and four generations ago would have been in the fucking 20s you could do a thing of you're in world war one or something or if they were in the 40s it could have been world war two yeah but if it's a thing of it's two generations ago and that's the 90s then it's like okay not as exciting but i can make something happen <laughs> like if i have enough leeway i had a I had a whole thing written for like a world war two soldier kind of spy character yeah and the whole thing of him getting into a becoming a vampire is one of the superior shots. So he was a very good, you know, he's very good at what he does, and he's he's very good at like being a little bit sly. But he's a good like he's not a bad person. He's just very good at doing his job. What I would actually recommend to you, uh, friendo comprendo, is uh, read uh, Kevin Keane and. Uh... Wayne Talbot's Natsferatu, and yes, it's exactly what it sounds like. I might have said that to you, like I might have pitched it to you before, but like um, it's it's very very good. But like the the idea was that it was um his superior turns him into a vampire, mm. but he kind of like whereas your man turns around and goes, oh I thought you know like blah 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 like you know like a general reason of I didn't really want to have to do it, but I felt like I had to. Yeah, and instead of going right, I'm just gonna stay out. Like I'm just gonna, you know, do my job, but just do what I do and stay out of mind and whatever. He just gets to a position where he's that good, where he elicits uh, an actual response to him asking for his own task force, where he just turns people who enters the task force into vampires and they only work at night. Sick. So I was just like, it sounds kind of like more if it's like it's like if um. Silver Age, uh, no, if Golden Age Batman was also the Red Ryan Batman and was in World War Two. Oh, okay, I get it. So, yeah, that's that's the kind of vibe, or the kind of way it makes sense in my head to explain someone. Yeah. But uh, I kind of also wanted to do it. Like, I know, I, I doubt it, because the thing of no one who would be in that game, I would assume, would, would be, well, not actually, well, maybe, like, Chris or Connor, would have your Twitter. Um... So, uh, it's a thing of, I kind of want to go through it with a, um, like a proper, like an Alfred Pennyworth accent. Oh, and nice. then through the time the story goes through, they realize he's actually a scouser who's just very good at manipulating his voice. 
Or it's 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 kind of like how um, it's like you know when you when you move to the likes of America, you kind of come out with a twang or something like that. Mm. Uh, after oh. living there for a while, it's it's kind it's kind of like that. Just you know, accents are they take a certain mastery after a while. Oh no, but the thing is, it's not just because he moves or anything like that. It's because it's the thing of when he goes to America. You hear people hear he's English or he's whatever, and they're like, "Oh, you don't sound it." And I can't. It's really hard to understand you. So instead, he just said, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna adopt one of these fucking posh twats accents, and maybe they'll understand that, and they'll be able to get away with more shit." Mm. Now, sorry, Jake. Just for one second. There's an important plot point. So there we go. Not you. I see you met the resident night sister, but uh, unlike most, you're alive. A lightsaber? No, don't hide it. I would explain your survival. Who are you? You have, you have no one to fear. <laughs> Just a traveler, studying the nature of extinct cultures and dead philosophies. You study the Night Sisters? I study many things. But yes, that Night Sister, or she was only a child when the war came to this world. She had to watch her whole family perish. What do you know about these ruins? Oh, uh, ancient beyond belief. The Night Sister and her warrior kin are seduced oh. by the power that lurks within. They avoid the ruins. Or suffer the same fate. Oh. Thanks, Discount Sean Bean. Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, honestly, he's actually a pretty cool character, all things considered. If I, if, if this were to be like a film film, I would probably yeah. cast Sean Bean. Um, to be fair, it's a thing of you said, Discount Sean Bean, and I just imagine someone getting shanked by a Sith. <laughs> Uh, okay, now this is coming up to the really cool power-up that I was talking about earlier, um, where, as we are on Dathomir, you do get just handed to you on a silver platter, or on a space silver platter, a straight-up double-edged lightsaber, um, which is why I always go to Dathomir first when I play this. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, Dathomir's too fucking hard. I was like, yeah, it is, but high risk, high reward. Yeah, exactly. And... Voila. Like if. Oh, sorry, Jack. I think your mic just crapped itself. Literally, I just uh, I tried to move my leg and I accidentally pulled out the wire for the headphones as I did. But um, like I never get things where it's like, oh, it's too hard. Like it's a thing of well, if it's hard, then it should be a good reward. And if it's if it's not a good reward, then it shouldn't be hard. But if it's both, then it should just make sense. Uh, I'm actually I'm using the red crystal as well. It looks like I was saying it was actually after you'd left because I went to Dathomir after you'd gone. So uh... I was like, well, well, now I gotta fit in. So uh... <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's be like all the emo kids. Exactly. Oh, and I'm, you know, I'm even wearing the the Inquisitor colors as well. So I'm just like, yeah, I gotta fit in for the time being while I'm here. You know. Uh, okay. <laughs> there... uh, sorry, Jack. I just imagine it's like it's like just um, a bunch of people just sitting around doing that uh, the Palpatine piss take thing where it's just a load of people sitting like a cafe going eat something 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 dark side <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay there is pretty much nothing else to get in this area otherwise I'd go beneath and get all the power ups but I already did that on my last playthrough so I think it's time we can go to Zepho and continue the story elements um, oh yeah oh yeah gotta get the story stores Fuck yeah. Story, story. Um, if I can survive this jump. <laughs> uh, story, that, uh... story. Graham's ex is a hoary. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jake. <laughs> you are most welcome. <laughs> It's also fucked up that it's a thing of though, like that probably pr trying to talk came from all those memes. If you know people putting the start of like a poem or like uh, the st of start of what would be a poem into Google Translate and then letting it say it, yeah, and then putting in a video clip that rhymes with it, yeah. Like one of them was um, like some of them are funny and then some of them are just kind of like you came up with a f you had a video but not a way to say it. 
and neither was funny. Like, one of them was like, um... Roses are red, Boris Johnson survived. Or something like that, and it was just like a video of just like from she I think it was like Sheffield United of their locker room, their manager saying, "I die for you, fucks," and it's like, okay, I I see that it rhymed, but why is that supposed to be funny? Hmm. <laughs> like unless I'm missing the joke that Boris Johnson nearly fucking killed Sheffield United or something, but like I'd never heard a story like that. <laughs> I mean, I guess he nearly killed them with the coronavirus, considering he didn't want to actually cancel anything. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, well, he is, he is just American Trump, so, like, yeah. The funny thing is, it used to be, it used to be funny when he was just mayor of London and he could only fuck up London. Now that he has to deal with other countries, it's like everyone realizes that him being a fucking idiot is not a good thing. Yeah. But anyway, that's as political as we're getting. <laughs> but, um, like, what was it? That, um, that, that's gonna go on our t-shirts. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh no, the, the okay was I was looking at my shiny new lightsaber and it is Chef's Kiss. I don't know why, but every time, so because I started watching South Park, every time someone says anything Chef, like kiss the Chef, all that goes through <laughs> in my head is Masaki chocolate balls. <laughs> now I'm going to go back to regular old Cyan. Actually, the Indigo one's pretty nice. Hmm. No, Cyan. Fuck it. Okay, BD, we can change out of our Edge Lord clothes now. Oh, uh, my chemical romance. <laughs> it's like, uh, we, uh, we only had to fit in for a little while. We're good, BD. <laughs> we only had to be a part of a society for ten minutes. God damn, that's ten minutes too long. <laughs> All right, we're going to Zephyr, which is kind of gray. So do I? Do I have a gray poncho? I don't know why, but every time we say the word poncho in this, it just reminds me of a Soviet Womble bullshittery. I do quite like, like one, me some Womble. Like what was it? One of the things that said it is like uh, one of the lads. I think it's like it's one of his mates is there and in Daisy or Arm or whatever it is. It's one of those games to run off the same system. Hey, he's wearing a poncho and they point it out. It's like Soviet's like, why the fuck are you wearing a poncho? And he just goes like, you love my poncho. It's my dirty sex cape. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, wait, what? Oh god, it's just good shit. Actually, do I need that force thing? No. You know what? I don't. I never use empowered slow, so I'm going to use something else. Empowered slow is what we call Jake's ex uh, pose. Hey, hey, hey! I don't. I, I ain't do nothing slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's vigorous and enjoyable. <laughs> I never said for anyone else, but for me, it's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, I have missed streaming with you. It has been too long. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I just when the camera comes on, you know, just something wakes up, and you know, sometimes it's the penis, and other times it's the brain. It just depends what kind of stream we're going for. <laughs> it's like, is this Omegle or what? <laughs> <laughs> is this Omegle? <laughs> oh no, we're gonna do we're gonna do YouTube. Oh, just <laughs> just do a sad penny whistle slide in reverse. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, God. Brandon, if I'm not on a no fly list somewhere in the world, I, someone's not doing the job. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, to, to, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, in case you're wondering about uh, Cammy earlier on saying, um, this is the viewer, uh, like the viewership has arrived, that there was a joke in the last stream where I was like, uh, oh, hello, one person, that's probably Cammy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, bitch. <laughs> to be fair, like I've done one stream without you, and it was, I had five people. Three of them were you, Mika, and Graham, and two of them were randomers who stayed for about five minutes, which I was still like, hey, five minutes longer than I expected them to. There's another Graham? Oh, baseball Graham. No, no, just like, it was just, no, no, as in, you were in it for, not until the end, but you were in it. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to stay for longer. I just had responsibility. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. But that's what I mean. While you were in it, there were five people, and I loved that even Hayden turned around and said, "I was like, oh, five people. That's more than I expected. I thought it would purely be just three." 
And Hayden just said, I think it was uh, five people. You're already doing better than most of my streams. I did I did see that. Uh, oh. like there was a thing where I went off to just like brush my teeth, but what I actually had was I, I just had my phone on the windowsill and Twitch running. Ah, that's fair. Uh, so I did see that. But still, I was like, that's a big sad. <laughs> Very untrue, but I'd say it's a big sad. Alright, we are going to Zepho. I'll do a little bit of Zepho and then I'm gonna jump off of this and we can fire up Rezzy. Still up for that? Hello, Kami! She just said hello, Jake, and I only noticed it now because I looked up. What's up? I just love she <laughs> Cammy just said also Gray, what the fuck are you exposing me on YouTube? <laughs> Too much. And yet not enough. And, and then I don't know how to say this name, because it's just it's the first time I've seen the name. Um I know the person whose name that is this is a screaming down the mic at me and I just can't hear them. But uh I'll just spell it because it's easier, because I don't want to fucking be a dick to anybody. So the first part of it is Y S E U L T and then O P Oh no O or P E M. Oh that's Cammy's friend Easelt. Ah hello Easelt. <laughs> Sorry if I was an asshole. <laughs> You've a very nice and unique name, that's why I had no ability with my purely Fenian English speaking tongue, how to say. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna suddenly find out they're fucking. they're from London Derry and they're coming over to my house, might beat my ass. <laughs> uh, I can confirm she is not. So I think she's safe. Christ. Actually, you know what? She's, she's, she still might beat, beat you up, but you know. Oh god. Or maybe she won't. She's a lovely individual. There you go. Like, that, that sounds about right. <laughs> it's like, what a surprise. Lovely people around me. <laughs> the, the Lord of Edge. <laughs> the Lord of Edge who just sprinkles in some fucking bullshit at times. But it's the bullshittery is the seasoning. <laughs> it's the seasoning, Jake. <laughs> no, I just like it's just just the comment is just sea salt in capital letters. <laughs> and apparently I'm grand, so okay. I, I I can continue to be somewhat well, I was gonna say I can continue to be somewhat of a dick, but if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be myself, so that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be your you wouldn't be your truest self, you know. Like, yeah, exactly. Fools, fools, this isn't even my final form. <laughs> I would be totally cool playing Vampire the Masquerade with you. I'd actually love that. That would be very awesome. It's such, it, like, since it's a thing I've, ne I've never gotten to play Vampire the Masquerade before. I love how much of a delay there is. Like, Kami probably could have said that about 10 minutes ago. Or I could when have said we that about 10 minutes ago, and Cami only saw... No, as in, we were only talking about Vampire the Masquerade, like, 10 minutes ago, but Cami's only hearing it now. <laughs> ah, entirely fair. Cal, can you hear me? Hey, yes, hey, <laughs> yes would beat someone. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Considering it's, like, she's friends, or, like, she's friends with two people that I've known that... Graham, I've heard plenty of times them say I would beat someone's ass, but literally in the first time I met Cammy, she said, within 20 minutes said, I would beat ABC's ass. <laughs> Easiest one, two, three. <laughs> oh god. He can't help you here, Jake. I am your god. What? God can't You're help you here. God can't help you here, Jake. Spectre, help me! <laughs> oh, speaking of, D and DC next next game is going to be mm. fucking lit. Oh, I'd imagine so. Very much imagine so. 
Ah, uh, I get to use my double blade. Yes. Time to decimate! <laughs> that is the best answer I have ever heard. That is the most me answer I've heard from another human. <laughs> Cammy just said, I was eating chicken wings, cutting type about vampire mass then. <laughs> <laughs> you have, and like, you already had my respect, but you have another level of my respect. <laughs> she has our priorities in order. Exactly. Wing, wings, wings are friends. <laughs> Be fair, like, I'm the exact same. Like, it's probably a thing of the amount of times Meek it probably hasn't heard from me for about 20 minutes because I'm like, no, I am juice. eating lay wings. <laughs> you, you, had, you had wing juice on the tips. To be fair, that wouldn't even be the thing. It's just I'm trying to enjoy my wings, goddammit. <laughs> also fair. Hagen, nagging, damn it. <laughs> <I'll come away. laughs> I don't know why that came to my head. <laughs> it's one of those things that gets stuck in your head, though. That's the thing. You don't even yeah, realize like, it. It's the fucking same thing with the Tortino's pizza roll song, like, I I watched that video, or, like, the YouTube video of the lads, like, you know, take the piss from one of them singing it. But then it was, like, Mika showed me... The remix. Uh, a, yeah, a remix of, like, it was, like, a, a TikTok, and it was, like, a remix of the song, and it actually, it claps, like, and I was just like, God fucking damn, I'm never gonna get this out of my head now. <laughs> Tank Rice is not on Spotify, that remix, because then I'd be, like, just bopping up the street being like, well, I would have been bopping up the street going, like, 13 minutes. Okay, the muscle memory for the game is coming back. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Fools, this isn't even my final form. <laughs> Cammy just said, oh yeah, I was stabbing a cardboard box earlier. <laughs> this also doesn't surprise me. Yeah. It's, pr it's pretty on brand for Cammy. I was about to lie and say, okay, wow, but then I was just like, no, that that's that's not a fair thing to say at all. You know that's a full possibility, like... <laughs> yeah. The fact she didn't say something worse, or, like, the fact she didn't say something, like... A person. Yeah, a person. Where you know, us? is the bit that's surprising. The empires forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees. Shipped off to work camp. <laughs> Oh shit. It sounds like these are kind of wish Cammy did have PlayStation though, because then she could co-pilot us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or even like, I wonder if it's a thing of if you... You know the way there's the PlayStation app? You, you can't do uh, talk chat on it. Oh, that sucks dick. Yeah. Because that already crossed my mind. <laughs> yeah, because my thought was just like, oh well, if it works on the app, like, maybe. There's an app for that. Yes, T. <laughs> oh. No, like, uh... <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that one. <laughs> he was just said... <laughs> The new one, my new sex toy came in. Lucky timing. Crying laughing. <laughs> I don't See, know if I that's have a thing. A, I have seen a picture earlier on that can actually confirm that. <laughs> actually, uh, one second. Cammy, is it okay to send him the picture? Because it's pretty funny. Uh, Jake, let me know if she says yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Cam just said, couldn't get to the person with this quarantine. Mm. <laughs> Jeez. She has, like, to keep, she, she, has, she has to keep the, the muscles loosey, loosey goosey, you know? <laughs> so, th so then when I'm she not, actually. I'm not, so when I'm she not actually does. Go, way, I'm just more so, she, I'm just like, okay, so, I didn't like. So when she actually does get to, like, cut a bitch, then, like, you know, she'll be prepared. Mm. Yeah, that does sound about right. You, you gotta you gotta keep it limber. Yeah, it's like yeah, actually yeah, you know, rule three is zombie land, man. Let limber up. Yeah, exactly. Actually, no, rule three was cardio, or whatever that rule was. Team's probably like real because at one point it just randomly jumped to a, a much higher number, and it was probably with that one. Yeah. God fucking damn it, where? 
Actually, speaking of the sequel, I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you, she I, said... don't, I don't know if you saw the sequel, but it was really funny. No, not yet. Oh, it's really good. Oh, what'd you say, anyways? Uh, she said, "Yeah, just to Jake and his girlfriend." Uh, okay. I will, I will send it to you, and you can send it to Mika. Like, yeah. To be fair, out of context, just Graham sending a picture of a fucking sex toy to Mika with no context at, immediately. <laughs> I could just imagine him being like. It's not okay, that I'm Graham. disappointed or anything, I'm just confused. <laughs> it's not that I'm disappointed or anything, I just thought he could handle bigger. <laughs> I thought he wasn't such a bitch. <laughs> you gotta, that's, a, that's a rookie number, you gotta pump, pump that up, you know? <laughs> you gotta pump that up, like... Hey, if you don't have to wield that thing like a battle axe before going in, then... I can send you a picture of the murdered box. Okay, I did not know which murdered box you were talking about there for a second. Oh. <laughs> See, and I, I was, was really hoping to... I was right. I was actually, because like, when she mentioned stabbing a box earlier on, I was kind of just like, of all my friends who could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Jake, che pretty... check, check your Instagram. It's beautiful. Fair. <laughs> I love a suit, like, as soon as you go, it's beautiful, it's just, ding! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that was worth pausing the game for, like, you know, a minute to find, but you know what? Oh, well! <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> they made a sculpt off of me! Um... <laughs> <laughs> Which is also Here, true. I had to do it. I had to do it. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I know it's customary to talk up my best friends, but it ain't a lie. <laughs> And this is the point where Mika just jumps on the stream and is like, if anyone can't tries confirm. to find out, I will beat a bitch. <laughs> no, 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 Jake, she'll hop on and say, can confirm. Can confirm, but then it will turn to, I will beat a bitch. <laughs> oh. See, this game is so chill that I know I'm, I know full well I'm running in circles and it must be really annoying for everyone else, but you know what, I'm so relaxed that y'all can fuck off. <laughs> I'm I'm in the zone. I'm in a quarantine zone, but I'm in the zone. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I know I, m I went through a door revealed, so that generally means I'm backtracking, but now I'm kind of thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is where I came from. I know from the windmill, giggity. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll figure it out. I'll play a little, like a little bit more of the story to make up for last time. <laughs> I just love Kami. Cardboard box. <laughs> just being like, let's get it fucking clear, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry if there was any insinuation there, I didn't mean. <laughs> oh god. My brain is so dumb. Okay, yeah, no, this is straight up just the way back. Never mind. On the way. Nice job. On the way. Actually, I think I just got a skill point. Oh no, no, I spent it. Never mind. I would like to. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, I was just, I was just fucking spitballing about fucking skill points. I wasn't talking about anything important. No, no, it was just for me singing. <laughs> <laughs> Dicks. Are you still looking at that picture? No, but... <laughs> no. <laughs> ah! Ah, damn it. I would like to change my mind. Okay. Do I jump to... Do I need a double jump for this? I don't think I do. I shouldn't. Okay, cool. No, I just suck. <laughs> I like that answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> She just goes, oh, nah, man, I'm boy, I can murder any kind of box. <laughs> like, the thing is, that's what I meant earlier on by, of all my friends that could, I was trying to be subtle, I didn't know she was out-out. So I didn't want to be that asshole who accidentally outed her to a pe group of people who, does, <laughs> who, like, she does not want to know. I just love as well, it's like she just said, Do you have an instant I can send you so I can send you a picture of the murdered box? <laughs> uh, yes, he is. J uh, he's like, J are, you, are you Jake it's underscore like Jake long? long? It's Jake underscore long 11. Yeah, that was it. 
I see. I can never remember whether the underscore is after long or before. I think it's. To be fair, if you put in Jake Long, it'll probably be the first one that comes up because I follow Graham and who and other Just people. stalk me. You'll find him eventually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just love years confirmed. <laughs> Mika. Good woman. No, it's just years just said confirmed. Oh, uh, okay. Which I'm just like, fair enough. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna say shit about something I don't know. Except whenever I do that, normally. <laughs> Except, you know, when you open your goddamn beautiful mouth. Hey, I know things about some things, kind of, sometimes. <laughs> I know stuff. About things that may or may not exist, possibly somewhere. Stuff as a thing. Glory. Thanks. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the only human who could probably put in an entire life's worth of doubt into a single sentence. <laughs> You're the only person on Earth who can gaslight themselves. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Which, to be fair, if I can do that to myself, imagine what I could do to normal people. <laughs> I mean, here, it is it is, it is, a theme in Star Wars these days, a fucking apparently. Mm. So, still on gotcha. brand for Star Wars Day. <laughs> I mean, y'all want to complain about Kylo Gaslight and Rey, which, you know, did happen, but, like, what, do you, what the fuck do you think the Jedi mind trick is? <laughs> it's like Gaslight, the superpower. <laughs> Confirmed she can murder any box. Don't worry, we knew exactly what you meant. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, if there's one fucking power that I hate in this game, it's like the power to slow shit down and like run across it. Because I'm just like, I literally do not use this in combat a whole lot. I only use this for puzzles, why the fuck do I need this? <laughs> Normal people don't stand a chance against us. Yeah, that sounds about right. That, 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 that's pretty much, that's probably a mantra I say to myself every day without really thinking about it. It's just my entire aesthetic says it. <laughs> well, my mouth says it as well, but that's a different story. I love how I went on a mini rant about how much I fucking hate that slow move and I continue to use it on a ram. <laughs> Here, it's it's like that thing, it's like that thing of like, don't talk, think about cats. As soon as you think about cats, you think, like, or as soon as you say, don't think about cats, you think about cats. Yeah. It's just, instead of being like, oh, there's a kid and it's, why is everything slower? This is fucking useless. <laughs> You're not that near me. Yet. Yeah. I'll find a way. <laughs> I just look outside, there's a guy playing PlayStation in the middle of the road, walking towards my house, like, oh shit! He's like, oh, we got a Vita. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a Vita, except it's not all like a Vita because it doesn't suck dick. Uh, I mean, here, remote play on Vita is meant to be really fucking good. But that requires well, also having to get a Vita. Yeah, and then it also requires, like, it's also to the fact that they stopped producing anything for Vita, I think it was this year. Yeah, and here, like, I have a Switch. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, once you have a Switch, there's literally no mm. reason to get a Vita for remote play. Because, like, here, yeah, I could have remote play, or I could get Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Well, Kami, remember to never come near you when you're anywhere near a kitchen or anywhere that would have a knife normally. <laughs> She's an art student. She carries a scalpel. You're already fucked. Shit! <laughs> also, it'll make everything much easier for you uh, that I can actually see your face, because for some reason my brain can't remember names unless there's a face to it. I also feel like every time I go to say her name, I need it written phonetically. <laughs> uh, here, I will fucking... I'll send it to you phonetically. Because I feel like I'm being an ass, and it's just every time I try and bring her into conversations, so either I, I try and get around it, or I try and say it, and I feel like she's sitting there going, God damn it, that's what everyone says it. 
Uh, okay, so I sent it to you there. Like, what what I would what I would say as a uh, way to remember, because uh, it's funny. Think e girl and insult, insult. East. Easelt. Okay, okay, that's that's fair. All right, fair. No, because when I first looked at it, I thought the L and the the L and the U were reversed. <laughs> I was like, "Great, I am not saying that." <laughs> it's like Graham, I'm not falling for Graham, this you wizardry. Can't make me. Graham, you can't make me. <laughs> and that's when all of a sudden I just see two people walking up the road. I was like, "Oh well, damn! I guess I accidentally did say it." <laughs> well, fuck, this is my life now. <laughs> now. Is this literally just the way back? I hope not. Oh, wait, shit, this is literally... Is this where I came from? I'm pretty Bring sure. Bring your yeah. ass back here! Uh... Do 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 Tortinos, Tortinos, hot pizza rolls. Okay, I guess I gotta go with the weird fucking slide mechanic this game has. Apparently, Easel's concussion is a little bit better. Oh, good. Context, if I'm allowed, please. <laughs> uh, now that Cami has uh, has you on Instagram, I'd rather she set it to you there rather than have it on something that will be ported as a YouTube video when this. That renders. is very fair. That is very very fair. <laughs> I love the first thing out of Cami's mouth is Jake. I did not cause that concussion. <laughs> okay then, what did? <laughs> uh, but yes, th thank you for letting me know. I was very concerned. Just because it's my first time having talked to you, so I feel like it's something like very silly. <laughs> Not because of anything about her, but just because it sounds like something silly sounds like the kind of thing that would happen to cause someone a concussion around the time I meet them. Ooh, what you got, BD1? What you got? Timmy fall down the well? Good <laughs> droid. Good droid. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this fell shit? <laughs> I'm a push a bitch. <laughs> Just BBA turns around. Well, he owed me. He he owed me money, so uh, I threw him in the well. <laughs> uh, I mean, here I wouldn't put it by BD1. He reminds me a lot of Sasha. Like I was saying this, in the, uh, I was saying this in the last stream, and I was trying so hard not to end up repeating the same shit just because I forget. Uh, mm. But like, since I'm talking to you, I can actually say it now because like. Honestly, this just reminds me so much of my puppy. It's hilarious. Because the thing is, you know that thing Sasha does when you're trying to give her food and she like guilt trips you with her paw, like the one that broke when she was a puppy? When she was like a yeah, baby? Yeah, that when bullshit. She was... Yeah, yeah. Like if, if she would like look you dead in the eyes, like. Uh, BD1 does this thing at the start of the game where he breaks his fucking leg and you have to fix it. And from then on throughout the game, he will actually like ride around on your back. Ah, uh... it is so cute. Actually, I think there's a point in the game. I think if you press a certain button, you'll just like start checking in on them. Now, I want to make sure I don't press the heal button because I don't really need to right now. Yeah, yeah, the the down button. You get to just like yeah, you get to check check on your little buddy. It's cute. <laughs> check on your little dude. <laughs> yeah, my little dude, my my little baby, my little metal baby. To be fair, I've never seen a baby yeet at someone and it gives them a concussion. But to be fair, every time I was eating children, it was for a totally different reason. Um, <laughs> I'll just say this much, I, mean, I cannot still, confirm or deny there was a cliff involved. <laughs> I, I mean, here, it's it's still on brand for Star Wars Day, man, you know, killing younglings. <laughs> this bitch alive! Yay! <laughs> oh god, I'm going to all different kinds of hell. This bitch commit treason, yeet! <laughs> I am the Senate. 
<laughs> was it us that we were saying like a thing of like he was like when he says that line he's literally dressed as the senate building for Halloween <laughs> yeah I think it was me we were having this conversation with yeah I think Hayden was there it's... too yeah exactly it was probably on discord the other night I think it was when we were doing games or something we were playing cards or something Actually, you know what? No, mm. it was it was after D and D C that night because I was pitching the um, Star Wars RPG. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, and then we ended up getting on Mimi with the the Senate line. We were getting Mimi with it. Okay, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I need one more skill point. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get evasive kick, which is also another description for my love life. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Just hit you. It, oh no, you yeah. got the text. Oh, you got yeah. the text. Suck it, Stormtrooper. <laughs> what you got, buddy? You, you want to scan the corpse? Yeah, I'll let you look at the dead body. No problem. <laughs> you can't get an infection. <laughs> Lines I'll say to my kids. Uh, reasons I still shouldn't have kids. <laughs> and yet I somehow have like a surrogate daughter from England. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to whom I'll say, stay in drugs, don't do school, because you know, quarantine. Actually, that's one thing that I don't get about the whole fucking quarantine thing. Places want to start reopening schools. It's fucking May. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, it's like, stop being assholes. Just let, just let them off. <laughs> yeah. Like, the only one where I'm kind of like, I kind of get, like, I don't get them wanting to reopen schools, but I understand they're like, them being a bit like, oh, bollocks about, like, education is like, wait, like, like, not junior cert, because that literally means none, but, like, senior cert students, or leaving cert students, and, uh... College, I guess. Like, well, colleges are still working. They're just working from home. Uh, yeah, fair. I wouldn't know. Like, I'm not there anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's one of those things that, like... I don't know time. Where... Yeah, exactly. It's one of those things of I kind of was thinking about, or, like, the other day, and I was like, would I rather be in college or not while this was going on? And I sort of went... No, I'd much rather not be in college while this is going on because, like, as much as you would have things to do and you'd have things to concentrate and whatever else, I do not, like, I, you could not get me to go up out of bed to jump on a fucking Skype call or a Zoom or whatever the fuck it is for 40 minutes to then possibly do nothing else with it. Like, my brain just won't allow me to go, like, oh yeah, I have to get up. What for? Oh, I have to jump on a Skype call for a lecture. You know what? Go and fuck. We well, see. The thing is, I'd have to be like, guys. Yeah, I will do your class. Fair warning. I won't be wearing pants. Yeah, exactly. I would have to buy that shirt from Querity where it's exactly that. It's like while this call is going on, be aware I'm not wearing pants and I'm not changing my ways for you. <laughs> it's that something also, like that. It's that sentiment. That also sounds like something from T Turtle. Yes, very much. I was like, if you ever seen it, uh, like any of their shit, it's just it's just adorable. Like, uh, just one of the days, have Dot send you some of the T-shirts that she has, because, in all honesty, like they're just they're just so adorable. I need the one with the rabbit, like the bunny rabbit on it that says "Me sarcastic never." <laughs> Tell me, here we're all going to hell. <laughs> here, I've got a deal with Lucy. Okay, I got a deal with Lucy. I am fine, so therefore all of y'all are fine. Um. Apparently, apparently, he still loved that reaction, and she said she's sending Cammy to uh, to go get the the cigarettes, the tabakis, the tabacos. Tabacos are for waifus. Yes, it, exactly. Tabacos are smokus for kawaii waifus. Yes, <laughs> all of the above. Smoke pie. <laughs> Tamaka Macas is like when Pac-Man is eating and smoking. 
So basically, after he's fucked Prince Pac-Man. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fair. <laughs> Wait, to, to be fair, it's one of the oldest and stupidest jokes in the book when it comes to anything about sex. But still, one of my favourites is, Do you smoke after sex? No, I never really check. <laughs> it's just like, it's so... It sounds like such a dumb and dumber joke, but I'm just like, it makes me laugh. <laughs> mm. I think I said that to Mika at one point as a joke, and she didn't take it, she didn't realise the joke, and she thought I actually smoked it and just didn't tell anybody. <laughs> I was like, bitch, if I smoke, like, it's the thing that I fucking hate smoking, but if I was a smoker, I would just have to say to people here, I smoke, I don't like it, but blah 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 blah. Like, I wouldn't be arsed trying to hide something like that. Yeah. But also, it would never happen, so. <laughs> I mean, I physically can't, I'd die, so, yeah. Yeah, it's the thing of I probably physically can't either, it's just a thing of, I have enough of a lung capacity now after getting mostly rid of or well dealing with that uh, with, uh, uh, asthma enough that it's probably like I could have like three and then one day figure out or like the oh, next day go to have one and then die <laughs> yeah exa or not even that much like have like one at one day and go you know actually I could fancy another and then that's the one that kills me technically they all kill you well the one that the one that f finishes the job <laughs> The stormtrooper who actually hits a shot. <laughs> I hit something, I hit something, you hit yourself, you fucking tool, you're in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they were just gonna forget all those children you slaughtered? Well, to be fair, you have to hit something to slaughter them. I was just participating in the want of slaughter. <laughs> Actually, you know, maybe that's the reason that the Stormtrooper armor is designed how it is, because Vader never fully committed and decided, you know what, I'm not going to have, like, deaths of people on their hands. Yeah. Maybe that's why you never gave them weapons training. It's okay, guys. I got this. <laughs> it's like, guys, I've already killed children. I'm fine. My conscience is already fucked. My, like, my soul is already, like, destined for other places. You guys still have a chance. <laughs> It's like, you still have a chance Luke comes along to, about to shoot into the fucking Death Star. Oh, well, you had a chance. <laughs> that was a fun pipe dream before my son came to murder us all. <laughs> uh, in all honesty, the, the new canon about how Vader figures out who the hell Luke is is such an interesting comic, and I accept it wholeheartedly as new canon because it is beautiful, because, like... Okay, back in the day... If he doesn't go on Jimmy, String Jimmy Stringer, I don't even want to know like my dude. <laughs> uh, but, uh... <laughs> you mean Jerry Springer? Jerry Springer. Here, it just shows Jimmy that I don't Stringer. watch that... Here, the it's the fact Jimmy that I don't... Stringer. It's the fact that I don't watch that trash <laughs> that I don't know what his name is. <laughs> You've watched Austin Powers? <laughs> yeah, but like, who gives a fuck about him in general? Jimmy Stringer. Hey, fuck it. Okay. You know what? No, Here, actually, one hand you know job what? No, you, know, you know what, Jake? No, that's brilliant. His name is Jimmy Stringer from now on. Yes. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> okay. Here, to be fair, at this point, all, all I learned from his fucking security guard becoming getting a show about doing that, you literally just need to be a fucking jackass with strong opinions. That's it. Oh, because the thing is. You say Stringer, and all I'm picturing is that dickhead rugby player with the massive hands, so all I'm thinking is Jerry Springer with massive hands crossed across his lap. And why do you think that way, huh? Why do you think your mother doesn't care about you? Why Why do you walk out on your mother? Like, he <laughs> <laughs> just said, we are waifus, and we know it. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. If we ever if we ever make T-shirts, actually, Cammy, get right on that. When you when you get back from from uh, from getting cigarettes and never coming back, just like my dad. Uh, when you get back from from doing that, get right on that. Make make it make a Jimmy make a Jimmy Stringer T-shirt. Oh my! <laughs> she just said Cammy left, came back three seconds later to get her knife. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to fucking have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, sorry, I got off track. Oh yeah, Star Wars Day. 
So, Welcome to Limerick. <laughs> We're not in Limerick. Welcome to the feeling of being in Limerick. Welcome to Space Limerick, also known as Tatooine. <laughs> no, why? Because no matter what, you get shanked, you little bitch. You, you want some death sticks? You want some death pricks? <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, so, Star, Star Wars Day. I'm getting really behind myself. So, anyways, um, the new canon for uh, how Vader finds out about Luke. You see, back in the old canon, there was a theory that Vader never fucking liked Palpatine after he became Vader. Um, Which is fair. Yeah, and I always loved that head canon because they were always kind of seen as mates in the old comics, and uh, even in Return of the Jedi, when he's like calling him my old friend and all that other sort of crap. Um, oh, this is where I came from. Never mind. Back to the way you came, Ginger. So, um... <laughs> go and find some younglings, you ginger fuck. So, um... Anyways, so... Uh, essentially, right after the Yavin ceremony in the new canon, they get, like, Yavin gets invaded, like, by the Empire. Jeez. Like, you know, it, it's like, did you guys really expect to, like, blow the fuck up a Death Star? and not expect to, like, have, like, a retaliation. Y'all are having, like, a party. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, it was something along those lines, and anyways, and, oh, shit, and, um, what happened there was, uh, it's like, Boba Fett got involved some way or other, and Vader essentially asked for information on this kid who has his old goddamn lightsaber for whatever reason, mm. and so... Like, Boba Fett's like, oh, that kid, he's just some fucking farm boy with a lightsaber. His name's, like, Skywalker or something, and Vader's like, what? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> and, like, uh, so it's like, yeah, Skywalker, why does that name mean anything to you? And, like, glass just starts cracking. And oh, so God. It just cements from then on, he just did not like Palpatine, because he's like, okay, this guy who I thought, like, was my friend and thought tried to help me save my wife fucking lied to me. Uh, and it was just he really freaking. It was just really freaking cool because, like, while Vader was committed to the dark side, he was not committed to Palpatine, and mm. they pro they probably went on to on to on to Jimmy Stringer. <laughs> A Jimmy Stringer. Jimmy Stringer. Actually, you know, you know, that's that's you know what? No, no, Jake. That's the that's that's the Rick and Morty version of Jerry Springer. That's 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 who he is now. That is his identity. <laughs> and, and he still has he's massive said... hands. Yes. <laughs> Issa says, also, Graham, I'm staying hydrated. <laughs> Good. Because I actually was about to text. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. I was as soon as gonna... questions came into it, I was like, have you been drinking your water? And I was like, I was, god damn, I didn't I, text that. I was going to text Cammy when she was out for the tobaccos uh, to say, hey, bring Issa back water because I know that hoe ain't hydrated. But, you know, it's it's it's, it's, nice, it's, it's, nice, it's nice to know you're hydrated. <laughs> is it kind of is it kind of bad when I heard you say tobaccos there? It kind of sounded like it was meant to be racist, but wasn't <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jake. No, but like, it just sounded like it was, it, it sounded bad, and then I remembered I said it as the fucking joke, and went, oh, A la shit. who opened air bar. <laughs> well, to be fair, like, that gives the, the, all the camel jokes double entendre. <laughs> Which is ironic, considering in most Middle Eastern countries, smoking is illegal. Well, to be fair, it's a thing of it's apparently illegal to drink in Dubai because of because uh, it's a Muslim state. But then it's a thing of the, all the sheiks and everything apparently get pulled pulled out of nightclubs every Friday. All right, in that case, I stand corrected. Well, then again, those are the people who have all the money and could probably have someone killed if they got a picture of them. Like, did I not tell you about my dad in an, in the in a nightclub with, uh, with uh, people? Like you, have not over there. you have not told me a story about your dad in a nightclub. Period. Continue, please, for my Fair. for my for my listening pleasure and sanity in this in these dire times of T virus. Please, <laughs> T virus. Okay, so what happened was is that my dad went over to Dubai. But this is a good while ago now. Went over to uh, Dubai with my mom to see my sister. And the only reason why I'm saying my sister instead of Shah is just because I realise Isla's listening as well. Um, and I don't want to be an asshole. But anyway, so they went over and uh, they went to a nightclub at one point and with these other people, these other Irish people I think they were that they met. And my dad's there and he's never really dealt with nightclubs or anything like that. So it was a thing of he went and he was like, oh well, I'll, I'll get to see what the lads did, I've dealt with, Shah has dealt with at home. 
But then he didn't realize it's a nightclub in Dubai, so it's like all the people, like all the girls who work there, who are like the what they call in America the drinks, like the drinks, like the yeah. service girls, like the drink service girls, um, bar service. That's what it was. Um, they're like in in like it's a thing of like you don't have to be particularly anything to do that job. It's just like oh well, people drink more and they want to get more if someone's hot who does it because men are animals and well everyone is who wants to get with women or well no that's not fair well if you want to get with women you want to see a good looking woman that's fair um so anyway um at least that is the mentality of like misogynistic bar culture well it's a thing of if like if you like women then it's a thing of you have no like you you aren't going to complain about having to look at a good looking woman okay but anyways you're, That's okay, what I'm trying to say. Is you're, you're, I'm explaining it very badly. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're, you're, um, you're, you're, you're Pappy Nightclub. This, this, this is, this is the tea I want to that I want to drink. This, this sp- spill, yeah. spill this tea. So, so apparently, it's a thing of the a lot of the girls who do the, that job in this nightclub or yeah. nightclubs in Dubai are all like ex models and you know aspiring models and all this kind of crap. So they all happen to be very attractive women. And my dad's never anything like this before so he was kind of like holy shit like I have to take a picture of like this whole thing including including like the people who work for just because the lads at home won't believe me so he takes out his phone and goes to take a picture and one of the this big massive security dude comes over and starts going like oh put your phone away what what you have to take pictures of blah 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 and so um my dad's sort of there, he's like, what the fuck's going on? I don't get what's going on. And is the people they were with explained to the bouncer and everything, it's like, what was going on? And, you know, they're not from here, and they're only visiting, and they don't understand, or they haven't been told. So, it's like, oh, alright then, like, that's fine, just don't fucking take any pictures in here, or we're gonna have an issue. And my dad was like, okay, okay. And then they turned around and said, like, oh, what was the story with that? I don't get it. And he said, oh, look over into that booth over there. So obviously he looks over in the boots and there's a fella there in the traditional gear for uh, Emirati. And he's surrounded by women and all his mates and all that and he's there far and away. And he goes, my dad goes, what's the point in that? Like, why why does that make a difference? And he goes, oh, that's one of the, sh- like, one of the, like, Emirati's one of the shakes. So he's supposed to be like a, like a, a, not quite role model, but they're supposed to be an example for how you're supposed to behave. So if a photo came out of them in a nightclub getting locked and talking to young ones, it's not only him breaking, you know, a massive part of our faith, oh. it's also a thing of, you know, he's he's doing all this shit when he could be doing other shit, or blah, 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 blah. So that's why... Oh, Tommy's back. But that's why they were freaking out, and my dad was just like, uh... Okay, that's fair. And I love that's literally the only thing he ever talked about when he talked about that story. He never once actually, like, said what he thought a nightclub, like, what he thought it would be like, and what he, if he liked it or not. I assume he didn't like it, because, like, to be fair, like, I don't really like nightclubs anymore. Um, well, to be fair, it's just, like, don't go to them anymore, because I'm kind of like, if I want to go get, if I want to get pissed and listen to music, I'll just go to a bar oh, that plays music. Yeah, exactly. And also means I don't have to deal with fucking piss fourteen year olds who got in with a fake ID. Yeah. But anyway, so I love I love it since you what got me in trouble was just my dad being unbelievably like was just my dad just going, What the fuck are like It's like why does everyone who work here look like a model? <laughs> Whereas your man thought instantly, oh he has to be someone acting a maggot. Yeah. I was like, no, my dad's just my dad. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say it's like when, when you're saying when you know he just got in trouble for my dad being like your dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, it was just hilarious because it's just like, um, I just love the idea of him being like the lads won't believe like this is like what the sauce is over here, and it's like, well, they probably would because like a lot of people know like how much money there is in Dubai and everything. It's probably a thing of. Uh, someone doing that job here probably gets paid more than like I would in a month over a night or something like that because you know blah 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing at the image of just your dad around all that. I, it's just like it's really not. It's, it's like from, from what I understand of your dad, it is really not his scene. No, not at all. 
<laughs> Isu just sent in, Sentra was closed, crying. <laughs> but, oh yeah, I guess the word essential. Essential. <laughs> hmm. yeah, made a flight. Laugh! Um... <laughs> just as the Jacks up the guy just slapping the thing a Actually, uh, Kami actually made a very good question, which was, when are the three of us doing a staff cast? Uh, when this shit's over. <laughs> that is a very fair answer. Because Kami pitched to me an idea for an intro, and I, I don't even want to tell you, because I don't think you'll be able to recover from laughter for hours. I really want to know now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, now you have something to look forward to when all this bullshit's over. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, there's probably a shitload of things I have to look forward to in the list of things. Yeah. So that's sure. on that's on the list as well. No? What, like number two, three? <laughs> Sorry. To be fair, I think the first seventeen are being able something to do with being able to go outside, actually able to do things and drink. And since Meek is not here, get me home. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, I say that as much as being like she'll kill me, but here she's just as bad. So like, if she does that, if she if she said that, and I'd just be like, bitch. No. Oh, you're taking full advantage of the fact that I can't cut this, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh God. Here, you know me. If there's something to be made a laugh out of, and I can get away with it, I'll fucking get away with it. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Is it gonna get taken down? Gets taken down. Oh well, shit. <laughs> At Christians, what are you gonna do? Save me? <laughs> it's like a Christian trench. It's like, what are you gonna do? Forgive me? <laughs> yes, yes, I will. Why, why does that make me feel worse? <laughs> <laughs> why does that make me feel like I should do something worse? <laughs> I mean, all you've done is set the bar, and now I just gotta raise it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, why do you want to do something worse? Because I want to get to the point where you won't forgive me. <laughs> uh, Jake Long, just committing to being an ass. <laughs> since 10 minutes, like since 99, or since like 1990. Jake, you were born in 96. I had six years of pre-commitment to that gag. <laughs> <laughs> you said pre. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Out of all the things we could laugh at, that's probably the one that even I'll turn around and go, for fuck's sake, Graham. <laughs> okay. Just the fact that it wasn't even like, like, I came along doing this. If you turn around and the camp, <laughs> I'd be like, alright, fair enough. I, 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 I walked into that one. But the fact that you said pre. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, pre. <laughs> Uh, so, anyways, um, Jackass. I am going to leave this stream here because the next puzzle is pretty lengthy, and I have promised this recently bald boy uh, a resi a resi game. So uh, we're gonna jump off, hydrate, awesome. piss, awesome. and sorry. Sorry, I'm reading something that that Cammy put in. She said, also, me and Graham have decided that we need to do streams where Graham's playing and I'm doing a drinking game based off of what, whatever game he's playing and run commentary. I think that's a great idea. See, the thing is, that, that, that's, that's the thing, because I wanted to mention this to you here on stream, that I think that would be a great idea for both of you on the same couch, because one yes. of you, I can, I, can, I can tolerate one person drunk when both of you get shit-faced. That's just going to be entertainment. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm, I'm actually like, if it was a thing of we could run, if we could run Discord audio so we could hear Cami, but then we could also do, and like, Lisa, obviously, if she wants to get involved, but like, um, like if we, if there was a way if we could stream and run audio, but we don't hear ourselves twice, that would be a great idea. Yeah, no, Echo is a pain in the ass, because I was even trying to look at comments on my phone earlier. First of all, they didn't work. Second of all, immediate Echo. So I was like, okay. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to leave Jedi Fallen Order here, so happy Star Wars Day. We'll be back in 15 minutes. We'll reconvene in 15 minutes. Yeet. All right, I'm going to stop the broadcast, and uh, I'll leave the party open anyways. So, anyways. Stop. <laughs> yes! Yeah!